Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Jay Dreamers, and I believe that giants and titans once walked our world and helped to terraform it and shape it into what we have today. One region of the world that also has um, a deep level of history, legends, lore, and creation stories about giants and titans. We're going to be focusing on Laos today. Uh, it's between Thailand, Cambodia and Vietnam. Now over in Laos they have an area we're going to be looking at the plain of jars and the evidence given for giants once walking our realm. <laughs> Okay, so here's a picture of some of these jars. Basically, it's an entire area with hundreds and hundreds of these megalithic stone jars. Uh, there are hundreds of these all over the place with no good explanation by the mainstream uh, explaining their existence. Basically, the mainstream says that these jars were created at some point 500 BC in order to contain uh, the bodies of the dead. I'm not buying that, just like I'm not buying that the pyramids are uh, huge tombs for pharaohs. And they're humongous. As you can see, um, you know, they were clearly shaped, okay? Uh, something made these. Something that was extremely large, like the giants or the titans that once walked uh, these particular areas. Rich with the stories and the legends of their creation and where they come from. You know, in Cambodia, they believe that they were born from the Naga, which basically are a reptilian-like, or I would call them a silica race of beings that pre-existed the human race. In Vietnam, they believe that they came from the combination of a fairy and the dragon lord, or a dragon. Uh, this entire area is full of the leftovers and remnants from an ancient world, a world where there were giants and titans and they walked around. Now, I believe that these stone cups, jars or vessels, that they were created by the giants who came before. And that's why we don't really know what they are and where they came from. This particular one, as you can see over here, uh, it's got a lid on it. Some of them have lids. And what's really interesting about these lids is the top. The top of the lid shows a human figure surrounded by these concentric circles. Uh, I'll let you, you know, use your imagination as to what that could possibly mean. But it does not take away from this entire area just being littered with all of these huge megalithic jars. I believe that there is an alternative explanation for all of these huge megalithic jars. Perhaps they were not always made out of stone, um, as is the case, I believe, with so many other things. But they became petrified over the course of time after the cataclysms that befell our particular realm. Now let me tell you something that I do like, which is the legends and local history. Lao legends tell of a race of giants who inhabited the area and who were ruled by a king named Kun Chiong, who fought a long and ultimately victorious battle against an enemy. He supposedly created the jars to brew and store huge amounts of uh, Yaohai, Yahai means alcohol, um, so basically they're shot glasses is what it's saying, to celebrate his victory. Now that's the local uh, history and legend of it, but I'm going to talk to you about what had happened to these megaliths. We tried to basically eradicate them, we tried to get rid of them, but as you can see they're all over the place, very strange. Uh, mysterious. No one knows really what they're there for. It's a lot of speculation on the part of the mainstream. Um, a lot of stretching, you know, when they try to say that these are basically um, cremation vessels. Now, here's where I want to get into what had happened. Between 1964 and 1973, the plane of jars was heavily bombed by the U.S. Air Force operating against North Vietnamese and Pathet Lao communist forces. The story goes, the U.S. Air Force dropped more bombs on Laos, primarily the Plain of Jars, than it dropped during the whole of World War II. This included 262 million anti-personnel cluster bombs. An estimated 80 million of these did not explode and remain a deadly threat to the population. So this entire area that's full of these megalithic 
evidence that giants once walked and lived among us, basically, that the Titans are real, was bombed. It was eradicated. This area was a main focus of uh, the military to blow it up, to get rid of it. Not only were they blowing it up and trying to destroy, I believe they were trying to destroy the evidence of the giants. And that's why so much of the, the ancient books and stories and literature have been burned and repressed. Anytime it starts talking about the Titans or the giants or the origin of what we call the gods, it gets repressed. Now here's a cluster bomb. It's basically just hundreds of little bombs um, in one giant shell, and they are unexploded. Now, I would speculate that that had been done for a purpose. Not that they were just defective bombs, but they were dropped, unexploded, um, in order to keep the area a danger to people. So, to, in order to keep people from going there and, um, you know, being around and discovering. Because, I mean, who's going to go to a place that's full of unexploded bombs all over the place, right? Seems like it was no accident to me. But anyhow, this is the Plain of Jars in Laos. I thought this was a cool picture. It's got the tree growing up out of the jar itself. So, you know how old... Um, the area is, um, the whole megalith, megalithic area. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and bring it to your attention. Uh, there is evidence all over the place and the more people start researching the reality of giants and titans having existed, then the more it's going to come to light. And, um, Pretty soon, it's going to be something that's hard to ignore. So, thanks for watching. This has been a presentation of the Plane of Jars and the proof and existence of giants.